Hello viewers, welcome to ARC. In this video, I'm going to tell you about how to use a sphygmo manometer. Apparatus for sphygmo manometer. An inflatable flat rubber bag covered by a non-distensible cloth envelope called Riva Rokai cuff. The cavity of the bag is connected by a long rubber tube to a manometer and by a short tube to the rubber pump. By this means, the bag can be inflated to any desired pressure. A small valve is provided between the pump and the bag which permits the escape of air and reduction of pressure as required to compensate tissue resistance. The manometer is a U-shaped tube, one limb being broader than the other. The broader limb is a reservoir for mercury and the narrow limb is graduated from 0 to 300 mm with the smallest division corresponding to a reading of 2 mm Hg. The inflatable bag dimensions for adults are 23 into 12.5 cm. Width of this bag varies with the age of the individual. Below 1 year, it's 2.5 cm. Below 4 years, it's 5 cm. Below 8 years, 8 cm. And for adult, it's 12.5 cm. This is the diagrammatic representation of Mercury Sigma Manometer. The first diagram shows the Riva Rokai cuff, which contains a cuff, two tubes in which one is attached to the bulb to apply pressure, and the other tube is connected to Sigma Manometer. Second diagram shows the mercury sphygma manometer which contains mercury gauge. Principle, it involves the balancing of pressure in a bag that is air pressure against the pressure of the blood in an artery. The air pressure is estimated by means of mercury or air manometer. Procedure, two methods are commonly in use for the measurement of systemic arterial BP, palpatory method and auscultatory method. The first method is palpatory method. Allow the subject to sit comfortably in a chair or to lie supine on examination couch for 5 minutes. The uninflated cuff of swing manometer is wrapped firmly around the bare upper arm 2.5 to 3 cm above the elbow joint at the heart level. Feel for the radial pulse and inflate the rubber bag to increase the pressure 20 to 30 mm Hg above the point at which the radial pulse will disappear at the wrist. Now deflate the cuff slowly, releasing the pressure at 2 to 3 mmHg per second. While lowering the pressure, keep palpating the radial artery and reading is taken just when the pulse starts reappearing. This gives us systolic BP. Disadvantages Diastolic BP cannot be estimated. Systolic BP estimated is lower than the actual by 6 to 10 mmHg. This is the diagrammatic representation of palpatory method to record blood pressure. Note the position of the finger to palpate radial artery. The second method is auscultatory method. Allow the subject to sit comfortably in a chair or to lie supine on examination couch for 5 minutes. The uninflated cuff of sphygma manometer is wrapped firmly around the upper arm 2.5 to 3 cm above the elbow joint at the heart level. Place the chest piece of stethoscope over the arm medial to the tendon of biceps where the pulsations of brachial artery are felt. Under ordinary circumstances, if the stethoscope is placed over an artery, no sound can be heard as the streamlined flow of blood through the Unconstructed blood vessel produces no sound. Inflate the cuff rapidly until the pressure in it is well above the systolic BP as measured by the palpatory method. The brachial artery gets occluded by the cuff and no sound can be heard with the stethoscope. Now gradually lower the cuff pressure by opening the valve till a clear sharp tapping sound is heard. The cuff pressure at which the sound is heard first gives the pressure of systolic BP. The pressure in the cuff is further progressively lowered while listening for the appearance of sound of Skortokov. The sound undergoes a series of changes in quality and becomes dull and muffled to disappear finally. The cuff pressure at which the sound becomes muffled or disappears is the diastolic BP. This diagram shows the flow of blood in the brachial artery after inflating the cuff. Due to pressure applied by the cuff, the blood stops flowing. By decreasing the pressure, the turbulent flow of blood produces sound, giving systolic BP. By decreasing the pressure further, the streamlined flow of blood produces Kotkov sounds which gives us diastolic BP. Precautions Cuff should be placed at the level of heart while taking a reading. The cuff should not be tied too tight or too loose. The cuff tubing should lie over the inner side of the arm and directed inferiorly. Check for the zero error on mercury manometer that is neither the column of mercury should be above or below the zero reading with the cuff completely deflated otherwise false lower or higher recording of pp will be made thank you for watching this video if you have any queries about how to use a bp instrument you can ask us in the comments below and like share and subscribe